The following video is produced by University of Vermont Extension. For more information, visit uvm.edu slash extension. Her shoes might not pass for military issue, but Michelle Harriman is learning what it takes to walk in her father's footsteps. I'm a normal kid. Yeah, my dad's in the army. Like, not a big deal to me. Like, obviously when he's gone, it's like another thing to worry about. Harriman is a member of Operation Military Kids, a collaborative between the United States Army and communities in the U.S that are helping to support children impacted by deployment. In Vermont, Operation Military Kids, or OMK, has teamed up with the University of Vermont Extension's 4-H program. And you have all your paperwork in here too that's from the, from the family court. These OMK participants are taking part in a mock deployment demonstration. They're learning about all the planning and paperwork that's required when their parents are deployed. How many of you are good to go? How many of you go? Oh, there's our platoon. We are simulating what a soldier would be doing if he were to be deploying soon. We're going through like personnel and family requirements and all that stuff, legal, to see how exactly a soldier would prepare for his deployment. Now, do you have any children? Uh, yeah, I have one child. Many of the participants have parents who have already been sent overseas. Their families are now preparing for a second deployment. This time I actually like know more because I'm a bit older and I actually know what's going on and I know like what's happened over there and it's just not easier. Like this time's kind of harder. You kind of know what's coming and you kind of know what has happened and you kind of know what to expect so it's a little bit easier. It's, it's still hard because he's being deployed but it's easier than the first one, yes. You got to be prepared for it. There's really, really nothing you can say that it's like it's going to be this way. It's they're all different, and it just you got to deal with it pretty much. Just helping my mom around the house, it, it's really going to help her. So I have to step up to be to be my father pretty much, and help her out. There are some pretty powerful messages here. And there can be Soldiering on in the face of a deployment sets these teens apart from many of their peers. I was the oldest and then there was my two younger siblings and we didn't really like get how hard it was going to be when she left until like when she left and we got back in the car and we were like wow mom's gone. So um, after she was gone it was uh, it was a lot of work to get back in like I don't know the groove of how things move and there's a lot of responsibility that you have to take up because I don't know my dad was like overwhelmed with all the stuff that was going on around the house but I don't know, things got done, life moved on. One of the goals of Operation Military Kids is to establish a speaker's bureau to advocate for the children of military personnel. Dubbed Speak Out for Military Kids, the group is open to teens of both military and non-military parents. Megan Henson can relate to being treated differently, even though her parents don't serve in the military. I know last year my dad had surgery, like major surgery, and I didn't want to be different. Like I didn't want people to see me any differently. I just wanted to be normal, like go on with my normal life kind of stuff. So I think it's kind, it's pretty important because I have a few friends whose parents are being deployed. Being able to relate to them more and be able to like communicate with them in a way that helps them kind of express themselves. Not pushing them but too much because they probably don't want to talk about it that much, but like being there in case they do want to talk about it, like that kind of stuff, just being there for them. So I gave you guys all journals, all right? For these military kids, speaking out sometimes means maintaining a quiet dignity. I, I try not to keep it private like, or keep, try to make it public. Just if someone asks, I tell them. If I want to talk about it, I'll talk about it. But like, if I don't, just leave me alone. Just like, <laughs> let, me, let me live. I don't want to think about it. Like, let me just keep going in my day like I normally would. When I told them that my father was going over to the Iraq, they kind of treated me different like, than any other student who would be just sitting in the back of class not doing anything. So they sort of understood that I was going through a really rough time and they didn't like judge me or anything. I got a lot of different, I don't know, attitudes from teachers and like older like parents of other kids who were like trying to be overly nice to me and it was just 
Like, you don't really want that kind of attention. You just, like, things should be normal. The desire to be normal for the sons or daughters of soldiers carries with it an extra benefit that everyone is thankful for. It's something to be proud of. And, like, I'm proud of my dad, yeah. Like, yeah, normal kids can't be like, oh, yeah, my dad's fighting for us right now. Like, I'm, I'm a normal kid, just I have an extra cool dad. Sometimes what makes someone different also makes them one of a kind. In Colchester, I'm Keith Silva with Across the Fence.